Hello everyone, in this lecture we will be studying about single phase controlled rectifiers both half wave and full wave. In single phase half wave controlled rectifier we can see that the circuit is almost uh, similar to the circuit of uncontrolled rectifier only the diode over here has been replaced by an SCR or a switch. Now what happens is it gives us a control when we want to switch on the output. When we give a pulse, current pulse at the at the gate, when we give the current pulse at the gate of the, of the SCR, the this switch turns on, and as a result, the input voltage is mapped to the output voltage, and the current also follows the same direction. When the input voltage, uh, when the input voltage turns zero, the output voltage and output current both turn zero, and as a result, the SCR is turned off because the current through the SCR becomes less than the holding current. So this is how it works. So uh, now what how we can control it is we can control the firing angle or alpha over here. We can make this firing angle anything between 0 to 180 degree. If we increase the firing angle we see that uh, we will we'll find a lower portion of the input uh, map to the output. If we decrease the firing angle we will find a higher portion of input map to the output. As a result, if alpha is low, V output will be high. If alpha is high, V output will be low. This is how we can control the output voltage within firing angle. We will be learning about the derivations of average voltage and RMS voltage uh, uh, in, this, uh, in the next segment. When we are measuring the average or DC value, we are considering that the output switches on when the angle is alpha which is variable and output switches on when the angle is pi or 180 degree. So we know the formula of VDC or the average voltage is 1 by T total time period 0 to T integration V output DT. Now we can write as since here time period is 2 pi from 0 to 2 pi integration of output starts at alpha output ends at pi. Ah. Vm, we are considering Vm as the peak, Vm sin theta, T theta. If we do that, uh, we can bring Vm out of the integration to pi. We know when we integrate sin theta, we get minus cos theta from alpha to pi. So, uh, Vm by 2 pi, by applying the limits, we get minus cos pi plus cos alpha. Now we know cos pi is equal to uh, minus 1, so minus cos pi is equal to 1, so we get Vm by 2 pi 1 plus cos alpha. We can notice that if alpha is equal to 0, if alpha, if alpha is equal to 0, we get Vdc is equal to Vm by pi because cos 0 is equal to 1 which is the same as uncontrolled rectifier. If alpha is equal to pi, we will get Vdc is equal to cos pi is minus 1 plus minus 1 will be cancelled and we will get Vdc is equal to 0 which will be which is very obvious from this expression. Now if we have to determine the RMS value, we can determine the RMS value using the formula in the same way RMS, Vrms is equal to root over 1 by t integration of 0 to t v output square dt is equal to root over 1 by 2 pi integration of alpha to pi vm square sine square theta d theta. From there we get integration of vm square divided by 2 pi into half uh, sorry, root over Vm square by 2 pi into half integration of alpha to pi uh, 2 sine square theta d theta. Again, uh, cos 2 theta is equal to cos square theta and a sine square theta. From there, we get 1 minus 2 sine square theta. So, we get sine square theta. Uh, uh, sorry, 2 sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta. So we can write here, this will be equal to root over Vm square by 4 pi 
integration of mm -hmm. 1 minus cos 2 theta d theta it will be from alpha to pi now we can bring the vm and 4 out out and by applying square root we get vm by 2 root over 1 by pi integration result yields theta minus half sine twice theta from alpha to pi modifying it we get vm by 2 root over 1 by pi uh, pi minus alpha minus half sine twice pi plus half sine alpha now sine 2 pi or sine 360 degree is equal to 0 so from there we get vm by 2 root over 1 by pi pi minus alpha plus half sine alpha again we can see that the vrms is dependent on alpha and if alpha is equal to 0 vrms is equal to vm by 2 1 by pi root over 1 by pi into pi here alpha is 0 and sine 0 is equal also equal to 0 so we get vm by 2 which is similar to half wave uncontrolled rectifier now let us look at one phase full wave controlled rectifier in this case uh, the SCR 1 and 4 are turned on simultaneously and SCR 3 and 2 are turned on simultaneously that is the same gate pulse goes to IG 1 and IG 4 again the same gate pulse goes to IG 3 and IG 2 uh, here if we look at the diagram here we get gate pulse to IG 1 and IG 4 that is SCR 1 and SCR 4 and here we get gate pulse to SCR 2 sorry SCR 2 3 so here we get get gate pass to SCR 2 and 3 so in this case when the SCR 1 and 4 are turned on current flows in this direction it comes from here it goes through the SCR goes through the load comes back to the other end and when the SCR 3 and 2 are turned on current goes in this direction it goes from here uh, current goes from here it goes to SCR 3, goes through the load, comes back and returns through SCR 2. And as a result, in both the cases, uh, we can see that uh, uh, we can see that uh, we get full wave rectified circuit, but displaced at an angle of alpha. And we try to make sure that the alpha in bo uh, both the cases, that is, in case of SCR 1 and 4, and in case of SCR 2 and 3, are equal otherwise we will get one kind of voltage in the one half of the circuit and separate voltage different voltage in the other half which is not very desirable for our application now if we want to find the dc value again we get the formula vdc is equal to 1 by time period t integration of 0 to capital t uh, v output dt so here time period is 2 pi and integration will be from alpha to pi v m sine theta d theta and again since the same thing is repeated in the two cycles as a result we have to multiply the whole system by 2 so we get 1 by pi uh, sorry vm by pi we bring vm out of the equation minus sine theta uh, integration d theta it's from alpha to pi or we get Vm by pi in integration uh, Vm by pi sin theta when integrated give minus cos theta from alpha to pi that is Vm by pi minus cos pi plus cos alpha is equal to Vm by pi My, uh, cos pi is minus 1 minus minus a plus 1 plus cos alpha again we can see if alpha is equal to 0 if the angle is 0 we get cos 0 is equal to 1 we get 2 vm by 
pi is equal to VDC, which is similar to full uh, uh, full wave control uh, uncontrolled rectifier. If alpha is equal to 180 degree or alpha is equal to pi, we get cos 180 degree is equal to minus 1. So, we will get VDC is equal to 0. So, by changing the value of alpha from 0 to 180 degree, we can actually change the output voltage. Again, we want to find the RMS value. We can find the RMS value by equation, applying the equation VRMS is equal to root over 1 by T integration of 0 to capital T. Uh, v output dt, v output square dt is equal to integration of 2 by 2 pi. We have uh, readily multiplied 2 because we are gonna work with only half the cycle and we are multiplying, thus we are multiplying it by 2. Integration of from alpha to pi vm square sine square theta d theta. So we get root over vm square by pi vm square by pi uh, sine square uh, theta we can do half integration of 0 to pi sorry alpha to pi uh, 2 sine square theta d theta the, uh, the calculation is almost equal, similar to half wave rectifier vm square by pi vm square by 2 pi uh, from alpha to pi uh, 1 minus cos 2 theta d theta is equal to root over vm square by 2 pi root over vm square by 2 pi uh, theta minus half sine twice theta that will be from alpha to pi so, we will get root over Vm square by 2 pi. Sorry, here we have theta. So, we will have uh, pi minus alpha minus half sine pi plus half sine alpha. Or it can be modified as Vm by root 2 1 by pi pi minus alpha plus half sine alpha whole thing put under root over now sine pi is equal to 0 so that is not brought into consideration again we can see here if alpha is equal to 0 gives vrms is equal to vm by root 2 which is the same as the rms voltage of uh, uncontrolled rectifier and if alpha is equal to 180 degree what we get sin alpha is equal to 0 and alpha becomes pi pi minus pi is equal to 0 so we get vrms is equal to 0 thus we can sweep vrms from 0 to vm by root 2 by changing the angle alpha we have this far completed the discussion on single phase controlled rectifier in the next class we will be learning about three phase controlled rectifiers thank you so much